I'm Stephanie, and this is Travis. Together we bought a Hunter 42 Passage that we call Gypsy. We sold almost everything that we owned and moved aboard. After living on Gypsy through a Toronto winter, we decided that we had to get down south. Though we've got very little sailing experience, we decided to leave it all behind in our home country Canada to live out our dream in sailing the world. We're so pumped to share this adventure of a lifetime. Hey everyone, we've made it over to Acklands Island. You know there are less people around when you dive down to check your anchor and come up with a lobster. Just ahead of our anchor, Travis saw a few more lobsters and several crabs down there. Had I have known, I probably wouldn't have needed to make lunch. Can't believe you got that so quickly. We're in a good spot. There you go, here's your dinner. And here's your lunch. Ooh, good trade off. Good trade. Nice doing business with ya. So this is how we're gonna replace the missing spear tip, I guess. So this is the first spear pole I found, which is like a solid piece of stainless with a little. Yeah. So this one doesn't. On this one doesn't unscrew like the other ones do. And this is the other one I just found, which Steph lost the tip. No, I lost the other one. It was on ours. Oh, so we yeah. took this tip off and put it on our red pole. Now this one needs a tip, so. So we're gonna get creative. Since this doesn't have a, a sling, we're gonna tape them together. Also, this one's a little bit narrow and kind of awkward to hold. So, making it thicker will be better. Good old Gorilla Tape. Do this in a couple spots, and we do that in a couple spots up here. This one, Steph holds it, she can actually have a bigger hole to hold, and she can spear away and not lose the tip. <laughs> Yay! So after lunch, I went down about 25 feet and speared my first crab. There's actually meat in the crab when we open them, so it's good because some of our friends opened a crab that they had caught here and there was pretty much nothing in it. But crab is delish. Sweeter than the lobster for sure, but a lot more cracking needs to be done. So really gotta work for it. So you're accusing me of doing something to your coffee. Well I did it because like, she's done something to it. So the salt is where the sugar is. Then. No wonder you're like, oh, like, why what? do the, the granules really look weird? <laughs> Try it. No. Like, That's disgusting. At first I had a big sip and I was like, is that just like because I drank sweet juice and then I tried the coffee? Nope. Don't mix the coffee and salt. That was so gross. Go catch some dinner. I'm going to catch his dinner. I'll catch his dinner. I'll catch, I'll catch you. Us. Yeah, I'll catch us. Okay. Oh, you're all sweaty. Let's go. And it's after March 1st, so hopefully we'll catch some Nassau grouper because those little guys have been staring at us the entire time we've been here. Yep, they're now in season. I think it's like three pounds. Yeah, they yeah. got to be a minimum of three pounds, but you don't want them too heavy because then there's a higher risk of cigatera. So got to get a good size. Three to six pounds. Maybe that big. Should be good.
poor guy. That's a good size uh, schoolmaster. He's not dead yet. Ew. So what you do is you, you take a chunk of the raw fish and you put it on the inner lip, your inner lip, so. Hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. But make sure that you're not putting it on your tongue because from what we were told, that goes into your bloodstream a lot easier. Uh, but you wanna put it inside your lip because your tissues will still detect if there's numbness. I should have 20 seconds, right? Yeah. So, what that's supposed to do is if it numbs your lip, it's a sign that the fish could have cigatera. And we've talked to people who've, like the people who've told us about this are divers that have been cruising the Caribbean for years and they've gotten hundreds of fish. And they've marine done Marine biologist as well. Yeah, she was also a marine biologist. But yeah, she says if she's ever gotten numbness in her mouth, she chucks the fish. And they've been doing this for like four or five years. She hasn't gotten cigatera yet, just by following that rule. I know there's no like 100% accurate rule, but if I can do any test to give me a little bit more of reassurance that this fish may not have it, I'll do that every time. If it created a numbing yeah. sensation, you probably wouldn't want to eat that anyway. Usually bigger fish, I would say maybe seven pounds plus, those are the fish that have a higher chance of cigatera, especially if they're carnivorous fish eating other small reef fish. Yeah. Builds up over time, so we're not taking the really large fish, but that test doesn't hurt either. They're slightly bigger. Yeah, exactly. Travis cleaned up our fish, our schoolmaster snapper, and we'll see what we end up making with this tonight. Like we'll coat them in mayo and then um, like a panko breadcrumb mixture with some spices. Where are we today? Castle Island. That's an island. It's just south of Acklands Island. And we've got another lighthouse. Ready, gang? <laughs> Woo! Hopefully this time if we walk up, you don't fall through again. <laughs> Let's hope not. That wouldn't be fun. No, I'd have to save <laughs> you again. You'd have to save me again. Round two, lighthouse. So we decided to go to the very tip of Acklands, where we will stage tonight. We're gonna to leave at probably one o'clock in the morning um, to head to Inagua, which is an 80 mile sail. So we figured we'd check this lighthouse out. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Castle Island is a remote island off the southernmost tip of Acklands Island. The Castle Island Lighthouse is located approximately five miles away from the main settlement of Selena Point. This is a nice one. Similar to the other one. Must be the same builder. Yeah, I wouldn't. Don't go past the second, what does that say? A mechanical engineer. Travis! Come on! Hey! Get down! Get down! Now! <laughs> hey, you clearly read the sign and you went past it. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you. Castle Island Lighthouse was built in 1867. Pirates who attacked ships in the nearby passage used it as a retreat. Man, it is bloody hot today when the winds change. The wind is warm. Cacti or stickers or something pokey. Man, he's hurt. 
Ow! What? That one went in like half a centimeter into my foot. Tons of these guys. Ugh. My goodness. I'm not going any further. Oh, it's rocky. What are you fixing? Yeah, I'd say. Because it's kind of, a, it's been loosening up because it's a new rigging. Um, but now, whatever I did with undoing the drum, the rope's all knotted up. Oh yeah, I see that. So I can't turn it. It's making it very complicated to work on right now. And you're losing light. I'm losing light. And I can't just unfurl the rope without putting the sail up. So why don't we just put the sail up? It's light enough. Because it's not together yet. And I'm having a hard time putting it together because of this rope. A little bit rolly. Oh, did you get it? Well, a little bit better. Can you hold this? Oh, because I forgot the <laughs> oh, this pen. That you had to redo it? I had to pull it all back. Got it all sorted? Yeah. How come whenever we have hot water, I don't need the hot water for a shower? <laughs> That's fine, though, because I almost used all of it. I'm all sweaty now. I tried to save you some. Just jump in the water. Cool off. Oh, there's a big barracuda float now. <laughs> Your fave. Thanks for watching and tune in next week as we sail to our last island in the Bahamas.